uh, I am a uh, pain management doctor, which most people in the world have never heard of because most pain just goes away on its own. You know, most adults and kids remember spraining their ankle or breaking their arm and it goes into a cast or a splint and it just gets better. Well, there's a whole subset of people out there that have conditions that just don't go away. And those are the people we treat. My intro into pain management uh, was interesting in that I had actually completed medical school and actually started anesthesia training, which is where I truly wanted to become initially uh, before I even knew that pain doctors existed. Uh, I never had anybody in or, uh, my family that had chronic pain. I was not exposed to it at all. And uh, during my anesthesia training, um, they had us do a couple weeks in the pain clinic. Uh, uh, I had no idea what the heck that even meant. And when I actually got there, I was like, holy cow, there are so many things that we can do that I had no idea even existed in life. And from there, that spiraled my interest into knowing more about it. And then before I knew, I decided to make that my career. So I decided to uh, uh, distance myself from the operating room and take a little bit different path. So uh, most of the things we treat, it relates to the spine for the most part. Uh, spinal pain is the most common cause uh, of a patient to come see me. A lot of conditions are related to kind of arthritis of the back or uh, various degenerative uh, conditions like bad uh, uh, spinal discs, etc. And uh, we try to manage those things to try to help with their pain and improve their quality of life and function. Basic um, things that we do, and a lot of my patients have a lower back pain, is we try to treat spinal arthritis. And we have these techniques in the lower back where we can uh, place needles without cutting anybody open, and we actually are able to cauterize or basically zap the joints and make them numb. And uh, it allows us to make joints in the body not hurt anymore. So even though we're not curing or fixing the arthritis, we're actually cutting the, the sensation from those joints to the brain, thereby allowing that patient to stand and walk and move without, uh, without the pain that they would experience from that joint. Uh, one of the major um, uh, technological advances, uh, which is, keeps improving over the year, is uh, spinal cord stimulation. Uh, back surgery doesn't have a 100% success rate on any patient population. And there's a whole bunch of patients and people in Austin as well as in the, the country and the world who undergo back surgery and have persistent pain. Um, a lot of times with that, there's no other operations that, that the neurosurgeon or the spine surgeons can do for them. And we've actually did, we've developed over time techniques uh, to help manage those people's pain. What spinal cord stimulation is, it's a, it is a technique that allows us to put electrodes up in the spinal canal, which stimulates the nerves in the back to block pain impulses from the back and, and or the legs up to the brain. So despite them having nerve damage or nerve injury or you know some sort of nerve pain uh, phenomenon, we can actually block out those pain signals. So therefore, it allows that person to stand, walk, move uh, with uh, significantly less pain than they would otherwise. Um, it has truly been one of the most, uh, can be one of the most life-changing uh, therapies for, for a, lot of, a lot of patients.